I've had such wonderful feedback from everyone about the language videos that we've been uploading. You've really been enjoying it. You've really found it very helpful. And so I've decided to come back again today with another from one of the pink series, a material from the pink series. And what you're going to be watching in today's video is called the pink detached sentences. This is one of the activities from later in the pink series, actually almost towards the end. This, after this particular activity, a child will be ready to read a storybook. And this material is appropriate for a child of about anywhere from three and a half to four years. They would be ready for this material. What I love about it is it's so easy for you to make. This is something that you can put together at home and you can get started with right away with your children. It's really fun. You can make a lot of these. Once you have the template, you can keep changing them up. And later on, when I teach you about the blue series, you'll be able to use the same template to make more advanced sentences for your child to be reading. Now, I just want to take you back and remind you of a few things about the pink series. When we're working with the pink series, we are working with words that are only two or three letters long. There's nothing longer than three letters. If you see a word that's longer than three letters, even if it is phonetic, it does not belong in the pink series, okay? The pink series words are pretty much, you know, most of the time we, they are CVC words, that's consonant, vowel, consonant, such as the word dog, D-O-G. So we have a consonant, a vowel, and then a consonant again. So a lot of people refer to them as CVC words as well. There are exceptions to um, you know the, the pink series. Not all three letter words are phonetic. And I have recorded a video prior to this um, which you know takes you through the pink series. I'm going to link it right here and as well in the comments so that you can go back and have a look and you will know what are the exceptions, what kind of words cannot be used in the pink series because they are non-phonetic. They will be taught later as phonograms when we come to the green series. The amazing thing about Montessori language is that within every series, the pink series, the blue series, uh, the green series, our goal at the end of it is to help a child to be able to read a storybook. So at the age of between three and a half and four years, your child will be able to read a short storybook consisting of simple two or three letter words. And this is really exciting. In conventional schooling, they would have to wait till they're five or six years, gone through a series of a lot of learning before they're actually ready to do this. But when they're able to do it early on, for one, it takes away the monotony of the traditional way of teaching how to read and write. And secondly, it really makes children feel empowered. It builds their self-confidence. They feel like, I can do this. I am able to do something that the grown-ups can do, that the older children can do. And it encourages them to keep on learning. So without taking up more of your time, here comes the video. This is me with my niece, Anna, showing you how to use the pink detached sentences. Enjoy watching, YouTube family. So today we're going to do some reading of sentences. Is that okay? Mm. All right. I want to show you some pictures, okay? That's a cat. It is. Where is it sitting? In a Santa's hat. Okay. Can you keep it at the top of the mat? Mm. Okay. Do you know what this is? A red hat. And where is it kept? On the bed. Okay. Could you keep it underneath that picture? And what do you see here? A dog on the couch. Okay, is it a couch? It's like a, I have a couch like for mm -hmm. lying down. This is like a bed for the dog. Yeah. Well, it looks more like a couch. How about this? A dog, a vet touching the dog so it can feel better. Right. A puppy on the mat. Right. And here? A pig in the water. Okay. Brown water, what would we call that? What do pigs like to play in? In, a ra in runny water. In mud? Yeah. Okay. Now I have some sentences here 
And we're going to read them. And sentences start with a capital letter yeah, I know. and they end with a full stop. So can you read for me? The red hat is on the bed. Can you match it to the correct picture? Okay, let's read this one. The dog is on the bed. Which picture does this match to? Okay. I okay, sure. The puppy can sit. Let's on read this again. Pup, pup. Yeah. Can sit on the mat. Okay, pup is another word for puppy. Yeah, but I like to say puppy. Sure. Can you read this one? The cat is in a the red cat. Santa's cap. The fat pig is in the mud. The vet has a sad dog. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to read all your sentences from the beginning to make sure they're all correct, okay? Can you start with the first one? The cat is in the red cap. The next one. The red hat is in on the bed. The dog is on the bed. The vet has a sad dog. Okay. The pup can sit on the mat. The fat pig can the fat pig is in the mud. Okay, so anytime you want to take these sentences and read and match again, you know where they are kept and you can take them and use them. Could you help me to tidy up? Did you enjoy that? Wasn't it really simple? Isn't it something that you could put together and get started with right away? I'm going to give you some uh, measurements and help you to get started. Now this is, we have a picture card and the picture card should actually be real photographs. In Montessori, we don't really encourage using cartoons or uh, pretend photos. It should be something very real. So try as much as you can to get pictures from the internet that are depicting real you know people or real animals real objects and things like that and of course remember to stick to the CVC words so the picture card is mounted on a square piece of pink paper and then you have your sentence card attached to that and the sentence should be uh, talking about what they see in the picture remember that we are preparing children to read a storybook they are learning that the sentence tells us about what's in the picture. When we read a storybook, the story is telling us about what we see in the picture. This is where we are leading them. So we want them to be able to connect that, as you saw in the activity. So you can, you can have a picture of a dog on a mat, but to write a sentence like, the dog is on the mat, it's not very interesting. Let's try and make it more interesting for the children. Let's try and add some, you know, a variety of words to enrich their vocabulary and to give them more practice of, in reading. It could be the, the dog can sit on the big mat or the red mat or the sad dog can sit on the big mat. So try and add words in there to make it more interesting for the children. Now don't worry, you know, when the children are describing the picture for you, they may not describe it exactly like what the sentence says, but when they read that sentence, they will be able to make that match and they will get a clearer idea of that picture. You can make a whole bunch of these sentences and keep them out six or eight at a time for your child to use when they feel, when you feel that they have you know, gotten used to these and it's very easy for them to do, swap them out and put some new ones over there. Um, what you can do also is you can keep pieces of pink paper with lines drawn on them and let the children copy out the sentence when they're done. You can also let them write a sentence of their own 
They can look at the picture and say, what would you like to write about this sentence? And let them come up with a sentence that goes with that picture. A lot of children do not enjoy writing. They reject it very often. And honestly, I blame us as adults. We, you know, we, we make writing something that they have to do. It's this task, it's this chore, it's this work. We never present it to them as something fun and something enjoyable and something creative. But when we allow them to be creative with it and to enjoy the process without giving them pages and pages at a stretch to work on, then they will see it as something fun and enjoyable. So even if it's a little messy, it's up and down, it's not exactly on the line, they will get there. But just imagine you are creating something and I walk over and I take an eraser and I just erase them and I say, this doesn't look nice. Inside, your heart sinks. You don't have a very nice feeling and you don't have the joy in doing that activity anymore. So focus on the child enjoying the writing process before you focus on the neatness and the correctness of what they're doing. Bit by bit, step by step, make this fun for you and for the child. A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video where we are building words in the Pink series. Now, that was one of the first activities in the Pink series. This is the second to last. So there's a lot of activities in between that takes us from step one to finally being able to read a book. And of course, you can learn all of this with us. We do have a training course. Uh, we have the diploma course where you can get certified and become a qualified teacher. But if that's too much for you and you would just like to learn it in chunks, we even offer our modules, you know, if you just want to learn about language or you just want to learn about math to be able to use at home with your child to enhance their learning, we offer those as well. You wouldn't have to do any assignments. You would just be watching videos of us presenting the material and you would be able to learn how to implement them and use them with your own children at home or even in school and uh, you can get in touch with us. I will leave that information in the comments box if you would like to reach out and learn more about what we offer. We're very happy to share this with you. I hope you've all enjoyed watching this video. I hope you'll be able to try this out. Uh, share your comments on your successes, on your challenges below, and I'm happy to come back and help you. I have a lot of requests for different materials, sound boxes, uh, the, the beads in mathematics and I'm working on it. I will come back with a lot more to share with you. Keep those requests coming. Please do keep coming back. Keep watching. Hit the notification bus button so you don't miss a single one of our videos. Subscribe to the channel and thank you for supporting us and for continuing to watch our videos. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.